no sé, no sé, no sé. No, a ver, no, yo soy. Yo la por mí, Estoy bien, Andrés Pérez. From Argentina, from Buenos Aires, es una ciudad city outside. Buenos Aires, called Campana. This is going to be the beginning of something really huge. I think this is uh, the first steps that uh, we're doing for, uh, for something really big in our career. Fabian Pérez. It's no time for relaxing. I think it's time to work more than ever. Yeah, nobody or nothing is is autosufficient with only one thing. Everything works with other things around. You know, if you are a good artist, because people choose you as a good artist, people select you as a good artist. Everybody needs something, someone because we're not living alone in the world. Nobody's completely free. When you paint, you are everywhere and nowhere, and you are everything and nothing at the same time. Sometimes you stop painting and you leave the brushes, but you're still painting. You're still painting. You know, you still walk and drive or whatever you do, and you're still painting. You never left the studio. Fabian's like no other artist I've ever known or dealt with. And people really need to meet Fabian because he's extraordinary. And the work's extraordinary, but the work and Fabian are the same. Whatever my, my paintings are today is, you know, whatever happened in my past, at least 10 years ago. Ten years is about the time that you reflect and start to appreciate, especially when you start to com compare with other experiences in your life. life, it's his travels, it's his realities, and certainly probably his fantasies. It's his poetry. When Fabian uh, comes to England, is it's a phenomenon for them. Hi darling. Welcome. <laughs> Welcome, Robert. Hi darling. Hello. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. When we 
arrived, we didn't even know that Fabian was here himself. So the whole thing has just been a complete, complete thrill. He exhumes his personality and his life in his pictures. So you could see the places that you go back in history, right? Right. Can you imagine the people who were sitting here, you know? Like... Right. It's just my, my first vision that you know that I remember. I was sitting in a in my mom's arms and uh, my father was into a room which he spent inside that room like two years without going out. After I finished the, the elementary school, like at 12, 13, everybody was really happy in my house, you know, me, I was growing up. My mother gets sick, really sick, and she passed away. It's, it's really tough, you know, when you're 15, 16, it's really, really tough. It's, a, it's a strong thing in your life, you know, when you're losing someone so close that you have every day in your house. My father also was, you know, really strong, trying not to show me nothing, you know. And that was really nice of him, but he was suffering so much, you know, he couldn't take it. And three years after, he killed himself. When those things happen, it's like, uh, you know, you gotta fight because, you know, you don't have time for anything else. You gotta fight because you don't know what you're gonna do next day. Entonces, en karate, la cosa importante, vivir cada momento con la máxima intensidad. De mucho tiempo de repetición y de práctica, se logra el vacío de la mente y ya no se piensa, ya no se aprende, sale espontáneamente aquello que interiormente tenemos. Repetirla, repetirla, repetirla. I've fallen in love with Fabian's work because you can sense the power of the, of the work but behind it is a, is a sensitivity, is a softness. It's a, a, a management of motion and a management of emotion that he's been able to illustrate. so good with the people, and the people respond to him so well. It's almost as if he's become an art star. Lightning doesn't strike very often in our business. An artist like this comes along once in a lifetime. I have never seen a response to an artist like this before. Um, certainly such a new artist. The journey happened already a few years ago, a New York art show, and I just saw the reception to his work in New York, and then again in San Diego, in La Jolla, on the West Coast. It's a pleasure to meet you. My pleasure, man. Enjoy your bangles. And then it popped up again in South Africa, at people's homes. I saw one or two of his pieces. 
I decided right there and then it was time to bring Fabian to Australia. Now I've had the luxury and the privilege of meeting the man behind the art. And it's exactly the same as his art. There's an old school, there's an old soul about him that would translate to an old master, yet it's mixed in with this young, passionate, sensual energy. This is somebody who's completely down to earth and it's represented again in his art and in, in his manner. He's a success story. I believe in his work. I like his work. I feel proud to represent the work in my gallery, have it in my environment, in my space. I remember the day that Robert found Fabian, that he was at lunch, and he called me and said, Annie, I saw the most amazing artist today. There was an afternoon that my wife called me up from the office and she said, let's go have lunch. We noticed the, the art that was on the wall and it was Fabian's work. They're two old souls that you have the feeling that they've known each other for quite a long time. To think that they've only known each other for seven years, you know, wow. <laughs> lunch and had a discussion about some things the other day and we looked we, we met at 1 30 or 12 30 and we looked down at the clock it was 5 30 6 o'clock I said where the time go? Robert you know bring to my life is like a, all the, the quiet time that I need for creation that's just amazing I've had the opportunity and the pleasure to travel with Fabian around the United States and overseas it's a joy. I never thought that, you know, being a father could be so, so amazing, really beautiful. She enriched my life so much. She's really, really completing my life right now. You know, some people they'll, they'll say I don't have a word to say. You know what I, you know what I feel for her, and I'll say I don't have a, I don't have colors, you know, to express what I feel for her. I don't think it's enough. A, a palette is not enough. You know, in brochures, you know, you can you can describe that. You know. My style is a little too strong, you know, for a baby face. So I had to be careful what light I use because it can be too dark for her. like operas. They're so classy, it's not like a, a copera could be anyone. A copera has, has to be, you know, like a smart, you know, like a, they gotta feel what you need to talk about anything. You can tell that he comes 
from a place inside his soul. And that's what comes out in the artwork, I think. And that's why people are drawn to it, because you always want that connection with your soul somehow. Fabian is still so young. What else is he going to create that we haven't seen yet? One of the things that Fabian thought for last year was to bring his friends that play flamenco music, Calais. They have close friends and the music is almost like telling the story in some ways as well. I think uh, for me we've come to a very, very deep friendship that I think is going to last forever. Fabian plays a little bit of guitar and every time we play for him in the shows, he comes to play with us too. They have close friends and the music is almost like telling the story in some ways as well. And you know, I saw him all the life around the art. I think being with your friends and your families is the most important thing, the most beautiful thing. It's not about how much you have, but uh, with whom you enjoy it. <laughs> Romance to me is like something, um, it's an ideal of life, I think. In my case, when I mention romance, like I'm waiting for romance to come back, it's waiting for an, a period to come back. It's like a, something that I saw when I was younger, you know, I, I was always thinking about coming back in, in time and see everything with the same innocence that I was looking at, you know, that period.